Hey everybody, this is Mike Uyomi from Sons of a Pitch Soccer Podcast, bringing you the third episode of Picks and Predictions for the MLS action coming up this week. So, I wanted to uh, bring this in a little bit earlier in the week since things were kind of back-to-back with the midweek recap as well as the picks and predictions right there over a two-day span. I wanted to stretch it out and it kind of got forced upon me because my co-host Nick is uh, out you know, in, in Orlando right now just hanging out, having a great time with his wife, sitting by the pool at a timeshare, Not uh, no kids to take care of. Nothing, just getting that R&R. So well on you, Nick. That's why our episode will be pushed back to Wednesday night. Uh, So you'll see that probably released Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, depending on where you are and how you listen. So look forward to that. Nick, great job. Uh, Enjoy your time, the last few hours you have left, and we'll see you tomorrow night for recording. Now, if you want to find us, you can find us at at SOP Soccer on Twitter, at Sons of a Pitch Soccer on Facebook, or you can shoot us an email, podcast at sonsofapitchsoccer.com. So we've got some sponsorship opportunities. Sponsors are the key to success here in uh, in our business, and we have some great sponsors right now on the podcast side in Donovan Food Brokerage, as well as Nice Iceland Pure Spring Water. Uh, we still have sponsorships open for the podcast portion, uh, but we also have sponsorships for this YouTube portion with the picks and predictions, as well as midweek recaps, uh, different things like that. So if you want to get in on the ground floor and uh, get some cheap advertising for your business, let us know. Shoot us an email, podcast at sonsofapitchsoccer.com, or through any of the other ways to reach us through di- uh, direct messages at uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, however you want to do it. So enough of that stuff. Let's get into the picks and predictions. So last week, another rough week for my picks and predictions. Surprise, surprise, right? Uh, now, I did have the same exact record last week as I did the previous week. I had five wins and seven losses out of the 12 matchups. Not a great result. Um, now, I was thinking about it a little bit, and there is three different, uh, you know, usually when you're sp- you're betting on sports and basketball, football, uh, very rarely are there ties. Uh, in basketball, they can't have ties. Hockey, same thing. But in football, very rarely are there ties. And, uh, you know, you kind of got a 50-50 chance on who you're going to pick. Well, in soccer, the way I'm doing my picks and predictions, we've got one team can win, another team can win, or there could be a draw. So there's three different pro- probabilities. So that's a 33% chance. Uh, so when you look at that, 10 and 14 overall is my record for the two weeks. Uh, the same 5 and 7 and 5 and 7 takes me to 10 and 14. That's my record, but I will get better, I promise. Uh, so keep watching. I appreciate you watching and uh, seeing what, what I think about these games. So let's jump right into these games. New York City FC hosting Columbus Crew on Wednesday night. Midweek action from Yankee Stadium. This game, it's all NYCFC for me. Columbus has been playing well lately. They're on a six-game unbeaten run. Uh, they just had a draw, a late draw against TFC, which they should have had the, the full three points in. But they didn't. They're still unbeaten in six, but I think New York City is too strong uh, for that Columbus Crew SC side, especially at home on that small field at Yankee Stadium. So my pick is New York City FC to win. Next game is going to be the D.C. United hosting New York Red Bulls in the Atlantic Cup clash. I don't know if they have a cup like the Trillium Cup with TFC and Columbus from last week, but uh, two rivals, original teams, New York Metro Stars and DC United, they've kind of rebranded with Red Bulls, but we all know that. Uh, So this game, you've got a DC United side who just had a horrible loss at Vancouver. Really a tough tough one to swallow for for DC United. Uh, Wayne Rooney was quite upset. He had some comments about the travel and going across country to play at Vancouver. Uh, Nick and I will break that down, the travel piece, in our episode tomorrow night uh, to give you a little bit more feedback on what our thoughts are with that. Uh, But in this game... I see New York Red Bulls going on the road to Audi Field in D.C. and winning this one. Red Bulls win. That's the prediction. I'm sticking with it. Then we head out to the West Coast for the last Wednesday night game. LAFC hosting San Jose Earthquakes. LAFC, I just cannot pick against this team at the moment, especially at home. Uh, Very, very rarely can I pick against this team. Maybe a little bit of foreshadowing, foreshadowing to later in the week. But LAFC against San Jose. San Jose's playing okay. They've had a couple mixed up results here lately. They're not on the tear that they were a few weeks ago. But my pick in this one is LAFC to win at the Bank of California Stadium 
at home and take the three points. Moving on to Thursday's game, Sporting Kansas City hosting Minnesota United FC. This game, Sporting Kansas City struggling. Minnesota United's playing well, but Minnesota United has that all-important U.S. Open Cup final in about five days from this matchup. So my pick in this game is a draw. I've got Minnesota United not quite getting it done. I think if they didn't have a midweek game and they weren't going to be resting players for the U.S. Open Cup final, I would probably go with Minnesota United to win the game. But because of them playing in that U.S. Open Cup final, I've got a draw on this one at Sporting Kansas City. Moving on to Friday night, we've got a couple games, a couple good matchups. Orlando City and Atlanta United. This game, there's that, is it a rivalry? Is it not a rivalry? We don't know. We're not sure. Um, no, one side says it's not a rivalry. The other side says, yes, it is. Uh, this game, it's still, this is what we're billing as rivalry week here in MLS, or at least MLSsoccer.com is billing as rivalry week. So we're going to go with it. Rivalry it is. Atlanta United is just way too strong for Orlando City. Atlanta is firing on all cylinders right now. Yes, I'm sure they're going to be resting some players to get another trophy to pick up the U.S. Open Cup that they're going to be playing against Minnesota United, which I just referenced a minute ago. They're going to they're too strong for Orlando City. I can't see Orlando getting a result in this one, even though it is in Orlando. My pick is Atlanta United to win this game and continue to climb at the top of the Eastern Conference as it goes. Then we head out west for the Portland Timbers hosting Seattle Sounders in a Cascadia Cup matchup. This is always a great game. When you watch these two teams play, it is just a fantastic game to watch. In this game, I have Portland winning the game. Portland Timbers will get the best of Seattle Sounders, mainly because my thinking is because it's be all about Portland being at home. If this game was in Seattle, I think I would have to go with Seattle. Strictly based on who has the home field advantage in this one, my pick is Portland Timbers. Now we move on to Saturday's games. The first game on the slate for Saturday is the New York Derby. New York City FC hosting Red Bulls. Is New York going to go red? Is it going to go blue? Where do you go midweek? Uh, you've got both teams playing in the midweek action, so no team is going to have more rest than the other. So because of that, I'm going to go, my pick in this one is a draw. I think that no team is going to take the full three points. Nobody's going to get bragging rights in this edition of the New York Derby, uh, the Hudson River Derby, they call it. But draw it is, that's what I'm going with. New England Revolution hosting the Chicago Fire. New England Revolution are a strong side at the moment. They've gotten some great results. Uh, they're playing a Chicago Fire team, which really surprised me last week in taking out Philadelphia, who was in the lead in the Eastern Conference going into last week. Uh, but this one, the Revs just play well at Gillette Stadium. It's a tough stadium to play on. That turf is horrible. They've got the edge due to that home field advantage, and they're the better team. So my pick in this one is the New England Revolution to win three points for New England. They continue to fight for one of those last playoff spots in the Eastern Conference. Next, we go to Canada for the 401 Derby. Toronto FC hosting Montreal Impact. In this game, I've picked TFC to win in both of the previous episodes. Being a homer, taking my team. Oh yeah, Orlando City, they're going to take those three points at home. Wrong. Oh, Columbus, we really need to get a result. We need those three points. Wrong. This one, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Montreal Impact will go into BMO Field and win this game. Take all three points on the road, which will, will propel Montreal into, you know, into a good standing for a playoff position. TFC will be looking for answers, and uh, I think it could end Greg Vanny's tenure as the head coach of Toronto FC. TFC just can't seem to get it going unless they're playing USL opposition. Uh, Montreal... Not at, not in great form at the moment, but they're doing okay. I just I just have a bad feeling about this one. Montreal is my pick to take all three points. Philadelphia Union hosting DC United. Philadelphia, one of the top teams in the East. DC was there the last time they played. They were right there at the top of the East, but they've kind of fallen off, especially with that bad loss at Vancouver. They do play midweek, but 
My pick in this game is the Philadelphia Union to get back on track and win this game. DC's kind of falling apart at the moment, and uh, I think Philadelphia gets this one done. Next up, the Rocky Mountain Derby. Is that what it's called? Rocky Mountain Cup? I, I don't know. One of the two. But we've got Real Salt Lake hosting the Colorado Rapids. Real Salt Lake is tough to beat at the Rio Tinto Stadium. I'm going with RSL to take this one and beat Colorado in this Rocky Mountain Cup Derby, whatever it is. So that's my pick in that one. San Jose Earthquakes hosting Vancouver Whitecaps. San Jose, in my opinion, is way too strong for Vancouver. My pick in this game is San Jose to win at home at Avaya Stadium. They will bounce back, and they will get the three points against Vancouver. Vancouver got lucky against a struggling D.C. United side at you know in, in last week's game. So I'm going with San Jose in this one. All right, on to Sunday. The first game up on Sunday is... The hashtag hell is real derby. Uh, last time they played in Columbus, it was a great game. Ended up in a 2-2 draw. I did get this one correct two weeks ago. I figured it would be a draw and that no, no team would grab the first set of bragging rights in this derby. Well, in this one, my pick is FC Cincinnati to win. Yes, Columbus has been strong, but Cincinnati's at home. That crowd is going to be pumped up. I'm going with Cincinnati in this one to win and get the first three points in the Hell is Real Derby. The next game on Sunday, we head down to Texas. The Texas Derby, for as it stands right now, until Austin FC comes into the league next year or the year after that. Um, speaking of some expansion news, there was some expansion news today in MLS, and we'll touch on that in the podcast. For St. Louis, getting the expansion team, the 28 team, welcome to the league, St. Louis We'll touch more on that next uh, next podcast episode. But in the Texas Derby, Houston Dynamo and FC Dallas in this one. FC Dallas is at home. FC Dallas has kind of been all over the board. They win, they lose, they tie, they draw, they win. They, you know, they're all over the place. But I'm going to go with FC Dallas based on the fact that they're at home against Houston, and Houston has been struggling since they let Wilbur Cabrera go, as well as last week with uh, with the draw there. So. FC Dallas to win the Texas Derby. Lastly, we have LAFC against LA Galaxy, the El Trafico as they've dubbed it. The new guys, the top of the league, LAFC, hosting LA Galaxy and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, I said earlier in the podcast I will not pick against LAFC, especially at home at the bank. But there was a little bit of a caveat to that. That caveat is Latan Ibrahimovic. This guy just keeps scoring goals. He keeps... I, I, I don't like watching the way this guy talks about the league and continues to trash talk and, and, and all that kind of stuff, but he gets the job done. Last week, he got the two goals in their draw. Uh, he also, the week before, you know, the, the game before that, he scored both goals in the win. The guy keeps showing up and scoring goals, and he is... Definitely has a beef with Carlos Vela and LAFC and the El Trafico. So I expect Zlatan Ibrahimovic to show up again in this El Trafico and pull out the draw for LA Galaxy. Normally I would say a win for LAFC, but because of Zlatan, I think he'll pull enough back to get the to split the points. So those are my picks for this week. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you guys checking this out and uh, hearing what I have to say about these games. Give us a shout out down in the comments. Hit subscribe below. I'll be bringing you picks and predictions every single week. Some recaps, some other content here on YouTube. As well, make sure you check out our podcast. Every single Tuesday or Wednesday night, we put it out. And again, we're looking for sponsors. So let us know if you're interested to grow your business alongside of ours. Thank you. We will talk to you guys soon.